Hi, I'm Patrick Sun. Here at the National Operations Center of Excellence, we know that great things happen when you bring the right people together. This is exactly what we did to help make this connected vehicle demonstration possible. Check it out. We're here to showcase some of the benefits of connected vehicle technology, specifically for emergency responders. AMF A3 responding. We have uh, connected vehicle equipment integrated into two representative civilian or passenger vehicles. We're also going to integrate equipment into an emergency responder vehicle. We have an ambulance out here today. That radio is sending out then uh, the emergency vehicle alert. We're going to set up an incident scene where the, the vehicles and the ambulance will be approaching. Uh, the ambulance is going to be broadcasting uh, information uh, about its position, its speed, its orientation. So you're going to get a, a visual display and an audible notification that there is an emergency vehicle uh, coming up ahead uh, to, to give you time to, to, again, look in the rearview mirror to see what's happening, to pull over, uh, to allow those emergency responders to get to that incident scene faster and hopefully have that extra amount of time to, to, to save the person that was involved in that incident. If necessary. We've been working on this type of technology. The U.S. Department of Transportation has been funding the development of this technology for a number of years now. It's finally getting to the point where it's uh, becoming a reality and we're, we're getting ready to have this integrated into vehicles so that we can actually see some of the benefits that we've been talking about. What I'm going to do is demonstrate a crash scene that I'm going to be approaching. I'll approach this crash scene on cruise control at too fast a speed by which I can avoid the emergency responders. So here we go. I'm going to set it on cruise control and then I'll simulate coming into this crash zone with no warning. And now I'm seeing a crash zone for the first time right here and I can't avoid fast enough, I can't get out of the way. Unfortunately, that emergency responder had a bad day. Now we'll try the same thing again using the advanced warning. My cruise control will automatically be cut off from the emergency responder's vehicle or a piece of infrastructure such as a beacon that could be carried with the emergency responder. Same speed, same conditions, and there I get a warning right there. And that's slowing me down well before I get to the problem of having to avoid this responder, and there I missed him without any problem whatsoever. 